Why 90 Day Fiance is completely fake. Number 1. Corey asking Evelyn to pick him up. In one episode of 90 Day Fiance the other way, Corey Rathgeber flew to Ecuador to spend some time with fiance Evelyn Villegas in her own country. Based on the scenes, it seemed like Rathberger was expecting Villegas to meet him at the airport upon arrival. However, Villegas told her fans on Instagram Live, people complain about me not picking him up at the airport, but Corey is a great actor. That's all I'm gonna say about that. He knew that I wasn't going to show up at the airport because he told me not to do it. Number two, Caesar Mack being single. According to reports, it seems that Caesar Mack wasn't even single when he supposedly became interested to start a life with Maria. According to Distractify, one user on Reddit claimed he is not being paid a ton, like 1200 an episode I think he said, but they pay more for the tell all, pay for travel and stuff for a lot of shots and he wants to get into doing commercial work so he took this as an acting job. His girlfriend was aware of that. Number three, Caesar is looking for love. As you can see, there is some suspicion that Mack's end goal wasn't to find true love at all. Instead, he was simply after building up his portfolio. As it turns out, Mac is an aspiring actor, and on a casting call website called Explore Talent, Mac used to have a profile page. According to Distractify, he had listed himself as an actor and model based in Rayleigh. Number four, Caesar and Maria's relationship. The other bombshell surrounding this 90 Day Fiance couple is the allegation that the two never really had a relationship from the beginning. One Reddit thread stated their relationship was ending before the show even started, and she wasn't interested in being on camera which was the nail in the coffin. The thread also added he says all the drama in their relationship was made up by producers, not like scripted too much, but edited and there was a fair bit of acting on his end. Number five, Chris asking Annie for a massage. Perhaps one of the most controversial scenes ever shown on 90 Day Fiance involves Chris Thineman asking his best friend's fiance, Annie Suwan, for a massage. Following the backlash, Thineman's wife, Nikki Cooper, took to social media with a message, yes, the awkward scene of Chris asking for a massage was scripted. Did. The producer asked him to say it and Chris had to say it more than once because it didn't come off as natural. We were fed our lines while sitting at the table, which is why no one reacted. Number six, Ashley and Jay's relationship. One of the most prominent storylines during the show's sixth season involves a cheating scandal between Ashley Martson and Jay Smith. At one point, Martson took to her Instagram and posted, we have been asked and agreed for some time to fake our relationship by not posting anything that makes us appear that we are together. Personally, I thought this show was just for entertainment. That's what we were told. Since the show has ended, I never confirmed the status of our relationship due to the contract. Number seven, Jorge and Chantel's name. The suspicion among viewers began when they noticed that Jorge and Chantel will be called by a different name by some of their relatives. Apparently, Jorge's real name is Andrew, while Chantel's is Sierra, according to one Reddit thread. Nobody really knows why they chose to use these fake names, but some suspect that both wanted to guard their privacy. Number eight, Jorge's business. At one point, Jorge Nava had claimed that he was a licensed marijuana dealer. I just feel like the whole fact of it, just going to prison over the same stuff that's legal, you know, it's just kind of, kind of crazy to However, it was the possession of this substance that later led to his arrest. According to a report from Radar Online, police had found as many as 293 pounds of high-grade substances in his car. He was then charged for transportation of the substance for sale, possession for sale, possession, and possession of related paraphernalia. Number 9. Hazel and Tarek's Relationship Hazel Cogleton and Tarek Myers were featured on the second season of 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days. Many questioned the authenticity of their relationship and attraction towards one another. For starters, Cogleton's confessionals seems to indicate that she was only in it for the money. Meanwhile, fans of the show pointed out that the couple wasn't following each other on social media, which is strange. Number 10, Tom Brooks' luxurious lifestyle. It seems that Tom Brooks has gotten into the habit of stealing high luxury lifestyle photos on social media and passing them as his own. Such photos included one of a Louis Vuitton box and Moet Champagne being enjoyed poolside. Following his fake posts, Brooks was called out by some of the photo's original owners. According to Soap Dirt, Brooks attempted to defend his actions by saying they were paid promotions. 